Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. Oh, I'm Scott. These are the inverts. Just before we get into today's video, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you become part of the notification squad by hitting my notification bell, ding ding. And today we're going to be looking at the false tarantula or the silver spider. It's the tarantula, it's not a tarantula, so what is it? So guys, the Clarisoga longitaris, the silver spider, the false tarantula. You can certainly see why we call it the false tarantula, because it resembles a dwarf species, a tarantula. But the difference between this and a tarantula is this is actually a true spider. Females can grow up to around 3 inches to 3.5 inches in leg span. The males grow to the same size. The females can live up to around four to five years. The males are lucky if they get up to two years. The females mature between 12 to 18 months and the males mature between eight months to 12 months. Now the difference between the females and the males is the females are a lot, lot stockier. So their bums, their abdomens are a lot, lot fatter than the males. The males being a lot, lot skinnier than the females. Now these guys come from California all over California, you will find them in tiny little damp spots. So California temperatures are quite warm, so the damp spots are underneath logs. They will do shallow burrows, but that's normally un between, underneath logs, underneath slabs. You'll also find them indoors, so in cellars and places like that. Anywhere where it's dark, damp, they feel safe. Any small holes, they will get in there and they will make their home. They do cast a very thin, thin, thin web, which is, which is for detecting prey. Um, these guys have actually been found over in Peru, which is very, very strange, but there are a couple of amateur sightings of these guys over there. So the theory is trading vessels have took them over, so they've hoarded away and then been released by accident, or the amateur reports could possibly be incorrect. So these guys are gonna want a nice damp enclosure. They're gonna want temperatures uh, around 26 to 28 degrees and they're going to want lots and lots of little hidey spaces so in the wild they're between logs little gaps like this they're also in hollows of trees but they're very small hollows so they feel snug and secure so with all that said let's go and check out the setup so guys this is the setup there's probably about four to five inches of substrate at the back in case she wants to make a bit of a burrow um, she probably won't actually create a burrow that's that deep but the options there she wants to now as we were saying in the wild you find them under logs in damp little spots so in this enclosure what we've tried to do is create a similar kind of feel so she has the tiny log pile there lots of little openings so she can go in here here up there or create a burrow across the front across the back water dish there so she can um, always has access to water and it's always important to label up your enclosures correctly. So we have the Callis Logis, Longitaris, adult female across there. And she actually lives under this piece of bark here. Now, as you've seen from the footage, she is very defensive. So I'm not going to be opening this and lifting that to show you guys. I'd rather leave her quite happily alone in there. So guys, that was the false tarantula, the silver spider, Calaris Soga. Longitaris. If you're in the UK, pop back to a previous video of mine um, because we're doing a UK subscriber giveaway. Remember to keep, keep the notification bell on. And on this Tuesday, this Tuesday come in at 8 p.m. We are going live. So come join the madness and the chaos, which is Scott's Inverts. Either join me on stream by requesting I send you the StreamYard link or have a chat in the comments or sit back, relax and enjoy the show. And as always, guys, we shall see you again on the next one.